Hello guys, welcome to this video. Richard the Courage, you know, here on how you can connect your Elementor form to your Sendy email provider, your email service, um, to that, yeah, basically that connection. Um, so what we will do first is to install a widget, a plugin called Sendy Elements, not Sendy Widgets. Sorry, let me remove that. Sendy Elements. Um, so that is it. You install it and activate it. I had already installed it, so I'll just activate it. So once send the elements is activated, let's just be sure it's there. Mm, yeah, where is that? Yes, there it is, it's installed. So there it is, send the elements. The next thing that we'll do is to go to our Elementor page builder on the page that we are building. Uh, let's refresh the page to make sure that our new installation takes effect. Okay, so that's the page. Um, so we'll click on the form and then go to action after submit, select Sandy. So there is Sandy. It will, uh, that's Elementor has picked up Sandy on action after submit. Then click on Sandy, scroll. So your Sandy URL is going to be the domain name where you installed your Sandy um, software. Okay, so I'll just type that in. Mail.prolaunchsynergy.com And then my API key. So you go to Sendy, go to your Sendy dashboard, go to settings. Uh, let me be sh let me be sure it's on the right brand yeah it's on the right brand so i'll go to settings and then so that's my api key i'll just copy that go back to elementor and paste that here okay so the next thing is your sending list ID. So the particular list where you want anyone the contacts to be saved in. So I'll go back to Sandy. Okay. Then I'll go to view all lists. Then I'll I'll click on the particular list that I okay. Well, by the left there you will see the the ID. Just, so just copy the list ID. Okay. When you hover on ID, you see it. You just copy that. I'll go back to Elementor and paste. Then next thing is your email field ID and your name field ID. So you just scroll up, click on form fields, then go to advanced for the particular field. You will see the name their ID under ID. So copy that. Then you scroll, go to Sandy. Then click on yeah, on that name, you paste that. Then you go back to form fields, select email, select advanced, there it is, copy that, and go to Sandy and paste that on the email box, on the email box. So once I paste that, I update my page, go to MailChimp, set, no, not MailChimp, I remove that, because I don't want MailChimp. So action after submit, I remove MailChimp. I usually write, like to remove email, um, remove uh, collect, collect submissions. I'll just leave send it there and then I'll update. So for this particular form, I don't need email. So I'll just leave send it and then update the page. Go and refresh the page now. So let's see if our form is working. Okay, put in my username, 
put in my, my email, my first name and email. And great. Our form is working. The form was set successfully. Thank you very much. Subscribe to this channel, please.